I know I'm getting a lot of backlash from this, and I just have to say so much. Glorybringer is a ship that I don't like. Now, there's that whole thing with the age difference, but I think everyone who makes Wings of Fire videos has made a video on that topic, so that's just going to be a small portion of this video. Also, I am aware that Tui confirmed in an interview that it was a mistake, uh, the age difference, and but I still have a lot of reasons to not like this ship, so still hear me out. This ship, arguably, is the worst ship, and not in the worst way I was meaning in Claral. Claro is a bad ship, because canonically this ship would make both characters miserable. Link in description. This ship is bad because what was Tui thinking putting Glory in this thing together? No hate on Tui though. Writing is tough, but I just need to rant for a second. Don't get me wrong, I love Murder Basket and I wish that he had more time for character development, but I just hate him and Glory together. I mean... Glory literally left her sleeping friends in the freezing mountains alone to investigate a weird nightwing in the snow. If I were Glory, I would see fire coming out of its mouth and move on. Like, she still went to talk to Deathbringer, even she confirmed that he wasn't the rainwing they were looking for. And for what? Only to come back pa to panicking friends thinking that she got kidnapped by ice wings? And then only to scare the scales off of them with her disguise? Not a good thought process. I also think it's weird how Deathbringer couldn't tell that Glory wasn't an ice wing. I get it was dark, but even with a fire going, producing light right beside him, and nothing about a rain wing even looks like an ice wing, even with colors, it just doesn't sit right with me. And it makes sense that Starflight thought, thought that she was an ice wing, because with no fire going and having just woken up, I can see how he would have thought that she was an ice wing. That, that's just the whole interaction that makes my blood boil. And that's not even the relationship itself. I'll talk about that right now. Glory is in a relationship with a dragon who tried to murder all of her friends. You could say that, it, that it's okay because he won't hurt any of her friends because she won't let him. But like, what? That's like saying it's, only okay, it's okay dating a serial killer because he won't kill your family because of you're in a relationship. Right after her first encounter with him, Blaze comes to see the Dragoness of Destiny. Deathbringer comes along and throws his throwing stars at all of them, injuring Tsunami and Blaze. And Glory lets him go after this! Glory would rather let a murderer trying to kill all of her friends than to risk feeling guilty. And Glory has no problem spitting venom on Scarlet. And just think about that. Scarlet wasn't even hurting Clay in the arena. If Glory wanted to directly save Clay, she would have hit Peril. But she clearly had trouble killing Deathbringer because they had a conversation beforehand. It also makes me confused how the Dragonette's of Destiny despises Peril, yet rolls over when it comes to Deathbringer. Peril was literally abused and manipulated, unlike Deathbringer who just became an assassin. I can't wrap my head around it. Just think how Tsunami feels about it. She risks her life for Blaze from an assassin, only for her best friend to start dating him. I'd like to talk about how Deathbringer literally stalks her. I won't do such a good job of explaining this, so if you want a more in-depth video on this topic, I'd suggest watching Four Crane's video on it. I love her video so much, go subscribe to her! He ignores Glory's commands and follows her around constantly, even when she has protection all around her. Seems a little pr possessive to me. Also, I know that they have a tendency to flirt in the books, but again, this is just my opinion and I would like to discuss why I don't think she should be flirting with him. I know that it is canon, and I would like people to stop telling me, oh it's canon so you have to ship it. Uh, no I don't. Um, I just like to share why it doesn't work canonly, and I don't think Lori should be flirting with him, but again, I can't change that. Now I know in this video I might sound like I don't like these characters, but I love these characters. Just putting them together makes for a pretty toxic ship. Glory deserves, deserves better than just a stalker who tried to murder all of her friends. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, give suggestions for what ship I should rant about next. I'm thinking Ripnami or Blicket. If you enjoyed this video and think you might want more, give a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, press a big fat dislike button. Anyways, bye!